The Eastern Naval Command has arrested 11 fishermen for engaging in light fishing in the Ghanaian territorial waters. The arrest was effected during a dawn operation at the high seas on Friday. The team also impounded 13 generators used in the banned activity. According to the command, it is the second biggest arrest they have done in three years. A vessel was seized at the Tema Fishing Harbor as part of that particular arrest. Now, the, arrests, the arrested fishermen will be handed over to the Marine Police Unit of the Ghana Police Service for further investigation and prosecution. Officers of the Eastern Naval Command cautioned fishermen to desist from indulging in the banned operation at uh, on, on the high seas. So, as you would recall, our const uh, it is actually illegal to engage in light fishing. And uh, the persons who have been arrested can see those can see those generators on your screens. Thirteen of them were part of the things that the police seized. So, we have been joined on the line um, by flag officer. Co uh, we've been joined on the line by Flag Officer Commanding uh, Eastern Naval Command, Commodore Bake Bafo. Good afternoon, uh, Commander, and thank you for joining us. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, this arrest that um, you have uh, effected? In all, how many people have you been able to round up? In, in all, yes, our, our vessel was on patrols yesterday throughout the evening and in the night, and they arrested 17 canoes, recovered 33 generators, not 13, wow. 33 generators, which work, works out to be two generators per canoe, and 17 fishes were brought ashore with the generators and its light accessories. The personnel and the generators have all been handed over to the Fisheries Enforcement Unit for further investigation and prosecution. Right, Commodore, we know that um, normally it is these big vessels that engage in light fishing. Is it a surprise that you have been able to arrest some 17 canoes and for how long have they been engaging in such activity? Well, for us, it is not a surprise because this is not the first time. And as to how long, uh, we cannot, but we, we think that they have taken advantage of the holidays, thinking that our patrol vessels will not be out there. And so when we had a tip-off, we, we sailed a vessel to that area. Hmm. Right. When was the first? We are told that for this year alone, this is the second biggest arrest of in, in the last three years. This is the second biggest. Can you confirm that? And what happened to the other cases? Yes, that is true. The earlier arrests were handed over to the Fisheries Enforcement Unit, and through the Fisheries Commission, they were prosecuted. But along the line, it was discovered that the fines imposed on such offenders was 6,000 Ghana cities. How much? 2,000? 6,000. 6,000. 6,000. 6,000. Okay. And the commission realized that it appeared the 6,000 was not deterrent enough. So the act has been reviewed and the fines have been increased okay so from from to where a you million a million dollars it works out to be about four million ghana cities for such offenses so if i'm getting you right these persons who have been arrested if they are to go through their the proper prosecutorial process they are supposed to pay one million dollars well, that is the maximum, and therefore the, the, the judge has the leverage to decide something more punitive and deterrent than 
6,000 Ghana cities as it previously was. Okay. What is the Naval Command doing? I mean, kudos to you and your men, but what else are you doing to prevent um, the activities of light fishing? Well, on our part, our vessels will continue their patrols in fulfillment of our core mandate to, to assist the Fisheries Commission to preserve and conserve our fishing stock mm. and to prevent poaching and other related activities. Okay. My last two questions to you would be, first of all, is it... I know you are supposed to protect the entire um, coastline of Ghana. Are you able to do that? And if so, how are, are these arrests just within the Tema catchment area or areas around Takrade, Axim, all of those places? You also have effected some arrests in those places. Yes, our, our coastline has been divided into two commands, the Eastern Command and the Western Command. The Eastern Command spans from Winneba, to Aflau, and the Western Command stretches from Winneba to Newtown in Western Region. My jurisdiction is from Winneba to Aflau, and that is where patrols, vessels under my command patrol up to. Okay. Yes. All right, and my last question would be, so these men, when you arrested them, did they have any catch? Yes, they had catches, but uh, because there were a lot of them and our vessels were interested in effecting arrest of the operators, uh, they did not uh, go for the canoes themselves. Okay. But as I said, uh, the Fisheries Enforcement Unit will be working in collaboration with the police to conduct further investigations and a possible prosecution to follow. Okay. We are grateful for your time and uh, we wish you and your men well as you continue with your efforts to uh, nab persons who flout the law. We've been speaking with a flag officer who is commanding the Eastern Naval Command, Commodore Bake Bafo, and uh, telling us about those arrests. So 33 different generators picked up and 17 canoes and the new owners have also been arrested. We'll keep you posted on any other development that comes with this story. This is still Midday Live on TV3.